So, you want to run Android apps on your PC, without dealing with emulators like Bluestacks that give you lags, crashes, and random freezes all the time. Well, I found a way through which you can get full access to the Google Play Store without installing any emulator. That means you can download apps, play games, use social media, just like on a real Android phone. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. First, search for Windows Subsystem for Android on Google. You'll see a few links, but you need to look for the GitHub page related to WSA. Once you're on this page, scroll down, and you'll find a list of released versions. Now, here's the important part. Avoid any builds that say, pre-release. These are unstable and not recommended. Stick with the ones marked as stable. For now, I'm going with the Windows 11 X64 stable build. On this page, scroll all the way down to the Assets section. That's where all the download files are listed. Out of everything here, you need to download the one that says, Mind the G apps and removed Amazon. Usually it's the first one, and it ends in .zip format. As for compatibility, this works best on Windows 11, but if you're using Windows 10 version 20H1 or later, it may still work, as mentioned right here. Before we install anything, there's one quick setting you need to tweak. Open the search menu and type in, turn Windows features on or off, then hit enter. A window like this will pop up. Scroll through this list and look for Virtual Machine Platform. If it's disabled, make sure to check it and restart your PC. This feature is essential to avoid any issues during installation. Now, open up the Setup folder. Right-click the zip file and extract it using 7-zip. You can use other extractors, but you might run into issues, so stick with 7-zip to keep things smooth. Once extracted, you'll get a folder. Open it and look for a file named Run. Right-click it and select Run as Administrator. This will launch PowerShell, and you'll see some auto-processing kick in. Just give it a moment. After that, a few windows will pop up. The first one is the Windows Subsystem for Android Settings panel. Click on Advanced Settings, toggle Developer Mode to On, this step is crucial if you plan on installing APKs manually later. Once that's done, close the settings window. Now, head back to PowerShell. It'll be waiting for you. Just press any key and it'll close automatically. Next, you'll see a prompt asking to continue. Click that and WSA will begin installing. It might take a little time, so just be patient. Once it's done, open up WSA and go to the Apps section. You'll see that the Google Play Store is now installed. To access it, just hit the Windows search bar, type in Play Store, and open it. The first time, it'll ask you to sign in with your Google account. Once that's complete, you'll have full access to the Play Store right on your desktop. Now, let's quickly test it. I'm downloading a lightweight game just to see if it runs properly. Now a few things you should know. This method is way smoother than traditional emulators, but it doesn't support key mapping, so games with complex controls, they won't run too well here. Once you install anything, you can either open it from here or access it by searching for it in the search menu. So that's it for this one, guys. If you found this short tutorial helpful, make sure to give it a like. And if you've still got any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one.